Oh my God, that's a reach. Um, <laughs> that's a, that seems like a longer reach than I used to have, but it gives you a nice wide view of the table. So hello, YouTube. This is um, for you because I just did a reading. Someone asked me to do a reading on Maui. They wanted, I can't remember if they asked me on the Rumble channel or on YouTube channel. But they asked me to do a read on Maui because they had heard that the U.S. military is fighting the U.S. military over there. And I just did a read on Maui. But I don't dare to put it on YouTube. I just don't dare to. I just don't dare to, you guys. Um, so I'm going to give you a brief synopsis. If you can't go over and follow the link, I'm going to put the link in the description to that, to that reading. And I also did a follow up over there on, um, how quick the transition will be from the reading that I did today, right? Um, which was on the technology and whatnot. So got that it's going to be three to 10 days longer than some people would like, but it is what it is. We got that it's going to, you, we're going to be told, we're going to give, be given instructions that will make it easier for us to maneuver that period of time and that it will be a pretty smooth transition. So we got that. Um, and then the reading on Maui, I got that looks are deceiving and that there's stuff going on over there that we're not being shown. And part of the reason why we're seeing the, decep the, the deception is it's helping to wake people up. But there is healing happening on Maui. There is help over there for the people. I got that. I got other things. I got, I got quite a bit of information on Maui. So Definitely follow the link over to Rumble and watch it. Um, but I don't dare to put it up here. So what I'm going to do, YouTube, is um, I'm going to give you guys, because I don't like to not give you something. I hate not giving you something. I'm going to give you guys a reading on... I don't know. I'm going to let the universe decide. That's easy enough, right? Um, I'm going to let the universe decide. What does the universe want to say to you guys as the energy stands right now? What does, what does the universe want to give us for a little story? I think I'm going to do a pull like, you know, down, you know, how I do it. I'm just going to start and I'm going to, I'm going to read whatever the story is that the universe wants to say. How's that sound, you guys? Pretty good? I hope so. I hope so. So let's say universal story, truth, insight, clarity, something you think that we could all benefit to hear right now as the energy stands. Um, what do you want to say? What's the story we need to hear in this moment today, right now? that you think we can benefit from hearing in this moment right now. So right now it feels like we're, we're skating on thin ice. Justice is coming, you guys. Knight of Cups, justice is coming. There's so much stuff under the surface that we don't know right now. That's why it feels like we're skating on thin ice. There's so much around us that we weren't paying attention to, that we don't know, that had jumped up and bit us. We didn't even know it. But justice is bringing in that wish fulfillment, okay? The white hats are uncovering all of the things that was under the surface. The white hats are bringing in the, the wish fulfillment, justice is pulling that stuff up from the surface, all right? And we're about to embark on this brand new journey with all this new technology, you guys. So they want us to stay focused on that. So though it may feel as though we are 
skating on thin ice right now, though it may feel as though we're on stilts going across thin ice, it feels that way, right? It feels that way. There's a lot of stuff that we don't know. There's a lot that we don't know. We've been caught up in things. There's so much that we don't know, you guys. And, you know, these things were biting us and we didn't even know it. And we may not even know it right now. But rest assured that something beautiful and new is beginning in that technology section. <laughs> and it's more, more, more coming off of yesterday's YouTube reading and this morning's reading, right? So that we're about to embark on a brand new start. Justice is coming in. Justice is uncovering what's under the surface. It's bringing it all up. It's going for it. It's going for all those things that were hidden, okay? Wish fulfillment is coming in. The good military is helping to aid that. Justice is bringing in wish fulfillment. You know, the good military is helping to uncover things that are under the surface. We've got a brand new start. We've got a brand new start happening. So with that being said, this is the stuff they want us to focus on. They want us to understand that there are a lot of things that we don't know that was under the surface that was biting us and we didn't even know it. We've been so caught up in so many other things. And it might feel scary right now. It might feel like we're on this thin ice. But honestly, justice is right there. Justice is right there under the ice holding us up, right? Wish fulfillment is right there. We may have been getting bitten, but you know what? Now all our wishes are about to come true. The military is right there as we were getting bitten. They've been fighting for us, right? Things are rising up out from, up from underneath that thin ice. We're about to embark on new things. So with that being said, is there one last card you want to leave us with? One last card that we can focus on. The Knight of Pentacles. Don't let the negativity get to you. Protect yourself. Protect your aura. We've been told this before over and over and over and over and over again. Got to be discerning. Got to feel our way through it. Got to put up those protections, not take in the negativity. There's way too many stories out there that are deceiving. And we got that a lot of what we're hearing out of Maui is very deceiving and it's meant to look deceiving. Um, that's a, that's a very interesting read and that has a lot of information. It's about an hour. It might even be a tad over an hour, but, um, I highly suggest you go over and watch it. It's a, it's, it's, uh, it tells us quite a bit of, quite a bit of information there, you guys. So don't let the negativity touch you. Stay focused. We, we are embarking on something new and we're very close by the looks of things. So that's what I'm going to ask because... You know, this is stuff that we're getting here. It seems as though we're getting this because we must be very close. Are we very close to seeing these big changes? Um, I know that time is hard, and I know it's hard to, it's hard to, um, time's an illusion, I get that, and it's hard to pinpoint a date. And I know that things are constantly changing, and I know that you guys tell us sometimes, you know, you prep us for something, and then it doesn't happen right then, it happens later, or whatever. Um, but as you tell us all of this stuff, um, are we getting very close? Can you just give me a yes or a no? Kind of come down into our timeline, feel what our reference of time is, and uh, see if you can give us just an idea. Are we getting close to these events happening? Is, are we getting close to this? Can you just tell us yes or no? Are we getting close? Close, meaning like not a year away, but close, meaning before the end of the year, on or before the end of the year, what we call the year 2023, on or before the end of the year, what we call 2023. Can you just tell us, are we getting close to that degree, like in, in that capacity? Oh, my hands, oh, my hands, I'm dropping all my cards. Could you just tell us that, please? Time for me 
for me to end for the day, you guys. It's been a long day. So are we getting close? King of Pentacles is we're getting close, powerfully close. King of the King of Pentacles represents power in this deck. He's powerful. Is there anything more to that? Jeez. There's going to be some dis dis. Okay, can't talk. It's getting towards the end of my day. I'm pooped. I've been doing a lot of channeling today. Um, yeah. So we're getting powerfully close. We're going to have like disinformation. We're going to be disappointed. Apparently, probably, what I'm thinking you're going to hear through this is you're going to hear dates that don't come through or whatever. But we're getting powerfully close. There's going to be all these disappointments and stuff. Um, you know, there's going to be, don't be foolish, because there's going to be a lot of wrong information. Okay, so don't be foolish. Don't be foolish. Be discerning. But, yeah, integrity is on its way. So powerfully close is coming with integrity. In the meantime, in between those two things, it's like there's a lot of disinformation and they're saying don't, don't be foolish because things aren't as they look with that card. So don't be foolish. Things aren't as they look. Things aren't as they seem. Um, the information that you're getting is not real. It's designed to upset you. Don't fall into that. Protect yourself. Don't buy into the negativity. We're getting powerfully close to this time of integrity, of, of high integrity. Have I delivered the messages correctly and can we be done? Have I delivered the messages correctly and can we be done? Have I, have I, done, a, have I done my job? Have I done my job? Um, and are we done with this message? Have I delivered the messages correctly? And can we be done? Am I done? <laughs> they want to talk more. So they want to tell you that you're going to hear a lot of disinformation. So don't worry. Whenever I get these cards, I know there's more of a story. So they want to talk more. So don't worry. Don't listen to these little things on your shoulder. Don't listen to your ego. Stay out of your ego. Don't fret. Most everything that you're hearing right now is disinformation. And with that nine, it looks like we could be close to wrapping things up. We have good leadership that you're not being told about that leads with the highest and greatest good for intentions only and always. Remember, we're, you know, we're powerfully close. Integrity is about to come in. Um, this journey is about to end. It's about, we're about to surrender. So we're getting powerfully close. Don't listen to the crap. Don't listen to any of the crap. We have the Queen of Pentacles here. So two very high integrity, integrity leaders going on. So things are about to shift big time for everyone. We're about to surrender to something completely different. Um, really good leadership. Really good loving energy with both that Queen of Pentacles and that King of Swords in this deck. This is all about children and family. They don't want you to forget that. We're getting close to ending this cycle. The, the technology that we've been using, all right, the words that you've been hearing are dangerous. Tap in. Tap into your highest guidance. Don't pay attention to this stuff. This is all about the children. They're reiterating this. You've got three children cards. So they want us to probably quit asking questions that are self-centered and they, they really want to reiterate this to us, that this is about those children and taking down the powers that have been abusing people and protecting families. We've got another family card here, pets and children. This is about taking down the powers that have been abusing people. This is about saving children and families and animals 
We're about, don't listen to the disinformation. This is an incredible, this, this war is all about disinformation. We're about to surrender. It's about to be over. Don't listen to all the crap. Tap in from your crown. Protect yourself. This is about the kids. This is about the animals. This is about taking down those powers that be. And we're doing it. We're, tri we're doing it. We're doing it. We're getting rid of the bug on our back. So we've got to quit asking when. We've got to quit having all these expectations. We're getting rid of the bug on our back. It's about the kids. It's about the animals. It's about the planet. It's about taking down the corrupted. Don't listen to the disinformation. Know that we have leaders in place right now that are taking care of things, leading with the highest and greatest good. This is all about children, families, animals, this planet. So, um, important stuff. They, how many kid cards did we get there? Kids and animals. So, yeah, important stuff for us to remember. They want us to remember that. And so, they can't give you a time because this is something, this is in action, but we're getting, we're getting very close to, to the surrender of, of this all being like, at least out in the open. <sighs> okay, you guys. So now have I delivered the messages that you wanted me to? Now have I delivered all of the messages um, that you've wanted me to? When they say there's already people in control, we know that. We know that there are good people leading this country. Everything's an illusion. Nothing is as it looks, right? So um, now am I done? Have I delivered everything now? Is that the end of the message? Can I be done now? Can I be done? Is that it? Are we done? Have I delivered the messages that you wanted me to? Yes, I've delivered the messages. They want they want us to remember this is about the kids, the animals, families. This is a this is an important journey. So this is the second time they gave it to us. They gave it to us over here too. So yeah, they want you to know the most important part of that message is the children. It's the children. We've got to win. We've got to get we've got to save the kids from the cabal. And we are. We're manifesting it. It's manifesting into being. Okay, you guys? So they want you to focus on that. They want you to focus on that. Now can I be done? Now am I done? Uh, I'm really tired. I'm so tired, you guys. Uh, I'm so tired. So now can I be done? Because we've told them that we've told them now and me, all of us have now and of course, we we focus on that. All of us on the channel, we really do focus on that. I mean, we know that. So, um, this is about the kids, and we understand that. Have I given the message now? Is, is the mess is the message delivered in full, you guys? And can we can I wrap up this reading, please? With that, with this one, that's like a slavery card, you know? So we're really rescuing these kids. We're getting the, it's about the kids, it's about anything that's being abused, right? So getting them away from their abuser with strength and, and taking them out of this slavery and manifesting a better life for them. So um, again, that's it, right? I can barely hold my eyes open right now. I need an ice water. Yes, that's it. So celebrate our children and celebrate freedom and liberation from slavery. 
and focus on that. We, we are getting close, though. About to see a shift. Whew. Okay, you guys. I love you all so much. <laughs> I'm about to fall asleep on you right here. Um, I need some water. Big time. I've been, I've done a lot of channeling today and I'm pooped. So I need water. I need to rejuvenate. So, um, yeah, I'm sending you all many, 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 many blessings and much, much love from me to all of you. And remember this is about the kids. It's about the things that are innocent. It's about, um, enslavement and being free. So it will, it will all happen and we're getting closer and they want you to know that. Okay. All right. I love you. Take care. <laughs> Bye.